This video will take you through the next step of your enrolment process, which is selecting your preferred class time. First, make sure you have completed the steps from part one and part two of this series. Start by logging into my timetable through my uni. Now click on the preference tab from the list on the left hand side of the screen. This will generate an overview of the courses you have enrolled in for this term, which will be listed on the right hand side of the page. To select your preferred class time, choose a course from this list and click view more. This will open up a new window, listing all the scheduled classes for this course and showing the dates, locations and times. Select your preferred class and drag it across to the preferences column in the order of your choice. Once you have determined your order of preferred class times, click Save Preferences to submit your preferences. Now repeat this process for all your enrolled courses. You must enter the required number of preferences shown on the page and marked by an asterisk. For instance, if a course has more than four classes, you need to enter at least four preferences. If an activity has two or three classes, you need to enter that same number of preferences. Where a course has only one class, this will be automatically added to your preferences. Once your preferences are entered and saved, these will display in grid view by default. This will allow you to see if there are any class clashes or if your preferences are not suitable. While in grid view, you can also opt to see how the classes you didn't preference would fit alongside your chosen class times. To do this, select the course you wish to view and the classes will appear with dotted outlines on the grid. You can also view your class preferences in a list view by selecting the preference summary icon at the top of the page. You can continue to change your preferences up until the last day of the preference period. This is not a first in first served process. You have the entire preference period to select or change your preferences, so make sure to take your time to plan first. Some things to keep in mind. You should not preference classes with the same start time. Make sure you consider the duration of each class. Some classes are two hours and you could have a clash if you schedule them back to back. You will automatically be allocated to some classes if there is only one option available. You should schedule your preferences around these classes. Once the preference period is over and the system is turned off, you will not be able to change or add preferences. You will need to wait until allocations are released to make any further changes. Watch our video, Class Allocation, to go through the next step of your enrolment.